to like uh, New Year's and after that we'll take it down because it's pointless why would you put it up you know like the week before Christmas and then take it down after Christmas it, it's so stupid you wasted all that time of hard work and then just take it down you appreciate it a little bit you know what I mean people are dumb for that um, but no definitely like 31 days of Christmas I like the fact that he took the time to you know make each day count with this you know with this significant level Love it, man. I love it. Christmas, my favorite holiday. December, my favorite month. Winter, my favorite season. Let's get it, baby. We're going to play the final track, track 14, and then we'll go from there. I'll break down my final thoughts, category, um, catalog. I'm going to list it up, what you should check out, and what to expect to come up next. Oh, 
see in a minute. It's a city right next, it's like a bit beneath under Huntington Park HP, but Long Beach Boulevard? No, that's not what I need, that's Pacific Boulevard. Linwood, there we go, that's what I was trying to figure out. Cool. Um, no, interesting track. Uh, definitely good for shrooms. No, I'm, I'm dead serious. Um, but let's go ahead and play off with. Oh, this shit. This video is gonna break into two parts. I mean, I already got one part. I gotta do one half. So we're gonna do this video is basically gonna be in three parts. So you know what? Fuck it. Enjoy it, guys. Enjoy the content. In fact, let me play Melas in a little one more time. I really would like that track. Pick at the colors. Let me pick at the colors. Kulu kulu. Yeah, no, it's more vibrant. I like that. Mm. Okay, turn off that. There we go, so we can see that more. Or actually, let me put purple on that motherfucker. There we go. Let me play exhibition one more time to remind me. <laughs> Song, help me out. This is Mary's song. Um, so I think as a debut project for Johnny Green, this was definitely a good, good first step for him. Um, he was definitely testing the water out, and he kind of liked what he felt for most of it. Um, maybe the water got a little too deep or got a little too chilly when he was doing In the Clouds because. It was too cold, maybe. Because he kind of was a little bit too off with that synth. 
But other than that, you know, I really like the way this project was hyped from the beginning. Um, Mary's song probably has to be my favorite. I love Mela's interlude, don't get me wrong. That would probably be my second favorite. Like, that's where I originated the A side, B side. So I might just do that for my favorites. You know, if I don't have a standout favorite, I'll do my A favorite, my B side favorite. So, so definitely Mary's song is going to be on my B side favorite. And then Mela interlude is going to be my A side favorite. But I like these two songs, man. So I'm going to go off on these two. But I really like this project as, like I said, a good first step for Johnny Rain into the music world and in him trying to explore himself and who he is and what sounds really, um, what songs really illustrate him, for lack of better terms. You know what I mean? Represents, let's put it that way. What? And I think he got the hang of it, the acoustic guitar and the piano, him finding some kind of melody and chords and him just kind of putting his heart out over it, you know, just, because I feel like truly he's an introvert, but him coming out on such beautiful melodies is really where he shines the most, man. His creativity goes on another level when he's on some dark tune, but don't get me wrong, I'm all for Johnny being happy, man. I really want him to be happy. Because I love John. I love, uh, as much as I love the press, Johnny and the music that he pours out. Wow. Happy Johnny is something else, man. Like, it really is a beautiful bliss. As you can tell with this track right here. This is why this is on my um, category C catalog for what to check out on when it. Drug sign high and holy shit. Come on, man. Breaking all of a sudden. Let me go ahead and play Melis in the loop because I really am feeling that track right now. Um, but as organized, let me do this. Category A is going to fall on... I'm gonna put category A for exhibition because that track just really is, like I said, up, you know, up joint. It definitely is a lot more poppy, you know, more out there than what's it called? Sightseeing. Sightseeing might fall into the. Let me put it in category E because I got. 31 Days of Christmas in Category B. So this is how I'm going to go. Category A, Exhibition. Category B, uh, 31 Days of Christmas. So to go over why I put it in that collection, Exhibition is, like I said, it's up there, poppy, freshy, something you would play when you're like, let's say you're in an outdoor gathering. It could be in a, like in your, um, like on a patio with some lights on, or you know, it could be at somebody's apartment room, it don't matter could be at the beach it's a really good poppy track track so that's where i would that's why i would put it in category a category b is 31 days of christmas just for the fact that i feel like it's underappreciated because it's very intimate and it does um serve ode to like 31 days of love you know with your significant love i fucks with it and it just has that nice deep um intimate tone to it Category C is going to go to Mary's song, self-explanatory. The acoustic guitar, Johnny Rain just telling, like, how much, like, what he would do to prove to his lady that his love for her is surreal, you know, and what he would love to do with her right now instead of worrying about these other little things. Category D, definitely going to Mela's interlude, which is playing right now. Um, the delivery of the beat was just strong. Look bring out a strong interlude and he just go ham on it two, for like two minutes man love it um, category E for excellency is definitely sightseeing just I love the overall like the flow of the song and everything it's beautiful 
like I said, Category C already went to Mary's song, so I'm gonna give the E to um, Sightseeing. It's just, like I said, it's like second to Exhibition for really being what I would consider like Billboard savvy, but at the same time, I think it's a nice vibey track that you could also play right next to um, right, right after Exhibition. Um, category F, like I said, Grey Room. Great, great song really that relates to people that feel like they've given too much in a relationship and felt like you know what they've had enough and they're gonna cut their losses to say we're not the one that's losing in this relationship it's the other person they're missing out on what we gave out oh well so when a drug sound and hype wonderful um mixtape i'm gonna go ahead and do some laundry and this is what i want you to expect next in the next episode is going to be uh, LOM. We're going to hear LOM come next, and after that, it's going to be Villain. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it, man. Um, I already told you how I'm going to do it chronological order for Johnny Rain or discography order. Let me put it that way. But until then, guys. This is True Blue signing out, man. Y'all stay blessed, and most importantly, back up a little bit more. I will post my category list, and I'm going to do that with every episode. Keep that updated. Um, yeah, for newcomers, if you like what you hear, please. I will include the download link, by the way, for this uh, mixtape. You can get it at Dapif. You can definitely get it at mix, like mixtapes.com. If I can't find more than one, look, you'll definitely have one solid. If I give you a live mixtape or a Dapif download, you are definitely like solid. Like no virus, no nothing. Like you're good. Of course, you might have one pop up you need to X out, but that's it. Otherwise, you're gonna be good. Um, maybe for Dapif. I don't. I never had that with live mixtapes, especially if you sign in. Just Create an email, whatever. Put in a password. Click the remember me button so that way you'll be fine. And then you can download any mixtape at like one minute compared to like where if it was just you're not a user, you might have to deal with one pop up and have to wait seven minutes for that mixtape to download. But yeah, um, next episode, expect LOM. And if I said in that episode that I'm going to do Villain Next, perfect. That's how it's going to be. We're going to go that direction. Uh, but yeah. Keep in mind, Melis Interlude, baby. You're going to be surprised by the next episode in LOM. Um, yeah. Because there is a track there on LOM that he took Melis Interlude, the blueprint for it, and he's like, I want to make this into... I want to perfect this track because I feel like I could have done more with it. So keep that in mind, guys. I'm going to really bounce for real. Drew Blue signing out. Y'all stay good. Y'all stay blessed.